Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Blazing Beards. My name is Andrew and today guys we're going to be reviewing another relatively new company. A company who started just like many other companies because the owner was dissatisfied with the products that he could get on the market and he felt he could make a better product. So guys, this company's owner also recognized that beards have been around, well, basically beards have been around since humans have been around. And guys, that helped inspire the name for this company. So guys, I'm going to show you a brief video clip. Check it out and see if you can guess what the name of this company is. Alright guys, so in that clip you saw a lot of old stuff. You saw historical stuff. You saw antiques. You saw monuments. You saw antiquities. But guys, they were more than that. They were things that had value. Not necessarily a monetary value, but a value of heritage. In other words, guys, they were relics from our past. So guys, if you guessed that today we will be reviewing the Relic Beard Company, you would be correct. Guys, the Relic Beard Company was started in December of 2018 by Zaman Khan. Now, Zaman asked me to use the name Z because he thought I might mess up his name. So, Zaman, let me know whether or not I got it correct, but for the rest of the review, I will use the name Z just in case. So, guys, Z has recognized that beards have been around since the beginning of humankind. And he believes that you should value and take care of your beard as though it were a relic from your past. You should be proud of its heritage, the heritage of being a man. So guys, the Relic Beard Company uses only 100% all natural ingredients and handcrafts all of their products. They also provide a variety of scents and they strive to provide sense that there will be something that will appeal to everyone. So guys, what do you say we move on and check out the actual product sent to me by Z and the Relic Beard Company? All right, guys, it's beard mail time. So guys, you know what the best kind of beard mail is? It's the kind of beard mail that won't even fit in your mailbox. That's right guys, check out this gigantic box that Z and Relic Beard Company sent to me. This was amazing. Yes, the mailman had to bring it to the door because it wouldn't fit in my mailbox. And guys, there were so many products inside, what I had to do is unpack them before filming this video. So guys, here they are. The first thing guys that I took out of the package was a note from Z. And the note says, Andrew, Thank you for taking the time to review our products. I've included all of our scents. All of his scents. <laughs> I hope you will enjoy them. Let me know which ones are your favorites. So thank you very much, Z, and I'll definitely let you know which ones are my favorites. I always appreciate getting a handwritten note. Next out of the package, guys, was a stack of business cards, so I can give some out to my friends, which I'm sure they'll appreciate. And it has the super cool Relic Beard Company logo, which is a wizard with a super long beard. So I think that's really cool. Next out, guys, were a couple of wizard stickers. And I love getting stickers, and these ones are really high quality, and they're very, very cool. And a couple more stickers, and these ones are of Vikings, and they're also very cool. So Z, thank you very much for the stickers. They are greatly appreciated. So guys, check out these products. Okay, so what I received from Z and Relic Beard were eight half ounce beard oils, five half ounce or five one ounce beard balms, and between all of them, they cover the nine scents that are available by Relic Beard Company. And that includes one that is unscented. Um, 
the beard oils guys come in, like I said, a half ounce bottle. And uh, it is an amber bottle with a childproof dropper top and paper labels. And the ingredients, guys, in the beard oil are sweet almond oil, golden jojoba oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, vitamin E, and essential oils for scent. I also received, guys, five one ounce tins of beard balm in a twist top, also with the paper labels. And guys, the ingredients in the beard balm are beeswax, shea butter, mango butter, sweet almond oil, golden jojoba oil, vitamin E, and essential oils for scent. But that's not all, guys. I also received this super cool pouch with the and this is like kind of like a uh, it's a suede bag with the super cool relic beard wizard logo on it and inside this package guys or inside this bag first out was a beard comb it says relic beard and it has really nice wide teeth on the top and very fine teeth on the bottom and guys this is a super solid comb I don't know what kind of wood it is. I think it's probably peach or pear wood, uh, but it is very, very solid comb. Really, really nice. And it says Relic Beard on it. Next out, guys, you can probably guess what else is in this pouch. It is a boar bristle brush, and I would say that it has a medium soft uh, bristles. Uh, very, very nice. It is a nice size brush. You know, it's a nice big brush will get you lots of coverage on your beard and again it has etched in the uh, wood the super cool logo once again so very very nice I really like that combo package also guys there's one more thing check out this leather pouch now it's not just a pouch it says relic beard on it but inside the pouch is another comb. This one, guys, is the fold-out comb. This is very, very cool. It is a fine-tooth comb, you know, probably more for your mustache. Um, it smells really good. I think this one may be made out of sandalwood because I'm getting that nice scent right off the comb. So anyway, guys, these are the products that were sent to me by Z and the Relic Beard Company. Um, what I'm going to do for you right now is I will share with you a chart that shows you uh, all of the scent profiles for the oils and bombs that were sent to me and uh, you can peruse it and decide which ones might be best for you and guys let's move on after that to the actual product review we will get into the details of these products here's the chart Okay, so now that we are zoomed in nice and close, let's take a detailed look at the products sent to me by Z and the Relic Beard Company. And guys, today we're going to start with the grooming tools. First up is the folding beard comb. The comb comes in this really nice leather pouch or leather sleeve. Uh, it might be vinyl, but either way, it is a really nice way to package the comb. It's also nice for carrying it around. So when I take out the beard comb, you get a whiff right away of that really nice sandalwood smell, which is perfect because, guys, although they call it a beard comb, a folding beard comb, it is really more of a mustache comb. It is a fine tooth comb. It might be good if you have a short beard to comb your beard with it, but for me, I would use this for my mustache, which is perfect because as you comb your mustache, you get that super nice sandalwood scent. It is very, very nice. This is a very solid comb. It feels great in your hand. It is definitely a high quality comb and it opens up and snaps out. The only thing I would say about it, it 
I would improve a little bit if this was, was me, is it doesn't exactly lock into place. You can see it wiggles a little bit. But other than that, guys, it is super cool. It is very high quality, and it smells great, and it is a nice comb. So overall, I like it. Next up, guys, is the Boar's Hair Bristle Brush Combo with the two-sided comb. And we'll start with the two-sided comb. So the two-sided comb, guys, it is a very solid comb. Like I said in the unboxing, I'm not sure what kind of wood it's made of. It's definitely a hardwood. It might be an oak or maybe a pear wood or peach wood. It is very, very solid. It is a very thick comb. And I think you could feel comfortable putting this even in your back pocket and not worrying about if you sit down that you would snap the comb. It would take a lot of force to break this comb. What I really like about this comb, guys, is the wide tooth side. Um, most of the two-sided combs I have do not have, you know, big wide teeth like this. This is a, you know, a really, really nice wide tooth comb, which is perfect for detangling, you know, a long curly beard like mine. So I really do like that. Out of all of the two-sided beard combs that I have, I would say this is my favorite so far because of the wide teeth on the top. This side has the very narrow teeth, good for your mustache. Overall, guys, a super high quality comb. I really like it. Let's take a look at the Boar's Hair brush. So this brush, guys, it is a very nice brush. It is big. That's what I like about it. It has a lot of surface area. Great for getting your beard to go in the right direction. And the bristles, I would describe these bristles as, you know, a medium firm bristle but they're not prickly at all. Um, like some beard brushes I have, you know, it's kind of prickly when you, you know, rub your hand on it or, you know, you rub it on your face. This one has nice soft, you know, tips on the end, but yet it has enough firmness that it will definitely do a good job getting your beard going in the right direction. So I really do like this beard brush. It is a high quality brush. Guys, let's move on to the beard oils. So guys, in order to save some time, what I've done is I've categorized the beard oils into three categories. And I don't want to put you through, you know, me smelling every single one of them. So I will demonstrate one of them and describe that scent. And then I will describe the other scents to you uh, from my prior experience over the last couple of weeks. So let's get started. So the three categories that I put these beard oils into and the beard balms are light and refreshing citrus. And in that category is the the Glacier Beard Oil and Beard Balm, and the Mountain Rain Beard Oil and Beard Balm. The next category, guys, I call the Floral and Fruity category. The Floral and Fruity category has in it the Yule, the Sea Captain, and the Fermone Beard Oil. Now, the Fermone Beard Oil, that's just the name. It does not have actual Fermones in it. I checked with Z, and he told me that it is just the name. So, anyway, guys, that is the Floral and Fruity category. And the third category, guys, is the Cologne slash Barbershop Scents. So, in that category, guys, I included Man Cave, On the Rocks, and Silhouette Beard Oils. So guys, today I am going to demonstrate for you the Silhouette Beard Oil. Why? Because that's what I have in beard today. So guys, this one here is the Silhouette Beard Oil. And like I said before, all the beard oils come in an amber bottle. This is a half ounce bottle with a dropper top. It is a child-proof dropper top. And they all have paper labels which give the directions and the ingredients which I've already shared with you in the prior section. Let's check out the color and the consistency for the beard oils. And all of the beard oils use the same ingredients, so they all basically have the same color and consistency. So the color of this beard oil, guys, as you can see, the color is a very clear beard oil, and it might have just the slightest of a yellowish hue to it. But overall, guys, very nice beard oil in terms of the color. Let's put a few drops on my hand, and I'll show you the consistency. Give it the old run test. 
So guys, I would describe this beard oil as a medium light beard oil. Uh, what I really liked about this beard oil, guys, is it absorbed super well into my beard. And it also absorbed super well into my skin. So when I put this beard oil in, you know, it felt really good. It definitely did a good job moisturizing my skin, making my beard feel nice and soft and well moisturized and cared for. And uh, the scent on the Silhouette, guys, um, it is very, very nice. Out of the cologne barbershop type scents that I've categorized here, this would be my second favorite. So Z, here comes the rankings. Um, I really do uh, like this scent. It is like you just stepped out of the barber's chair. That super fresh scent with that nice powdery type smell to it. It is a classic barbershop and it is very, very nice. In terms of for all of these cologne and barbershop scented beard oils, they had a scent duration of about five to six hours. So very, very good. Let's move on to the next beard oil. The next beard oil, guys, is called On the Rocks. Now this one, Z, was my favorite of not only the Cologne Barbershop scents, but my favorite overall. This, guys, it is a super nice beard oil. It is what I would call a, a mixture between a nice bay rum cologne mixed with a barbershop. So I kind of get both, that super nice bay rum plus a barbershop in here together. That's what I get from this one, and it is very pleasant and definitely my favorite. It is unique and it is great. So guys, try this one out. The third one in this category, guys, is called Man Cave. Now Man Cave, uh, it is not really a barbershop or a cologne, but I really didn't have any place else to put it. This one is a tobacco vanilla scent, and I would say it is a very warm scent, and it also has something else in there. I would say it has some kind of spice, maybe a cinnamon or something, but I definitely get the, on opening the bottle, you get a very strong vanilla scent, and you know then when you put it in beard, more of the tobacco comes out, and then there is a little bit of spiciness to it. I do like this scent, but of the three, guys, for in my category of the cologne and barbershop scents, this would be number three. So for the cologne barbershops, First one is On the Rock, second is Silhouette, third is Man Cave. Let's move on to the light and refreshing citrus scents. So there are two scents in this category. The first one up is Glacier. Now this one is a citrus and mint scent. And it is a very pleasant scent. It's very refreshing, very clean. The only problem I had with this one, guys, is while it was a very nice scent, it didn't last at all. When I put this one into my beard, by the time I finished styling my beard, uh, you know, blow drying it, combing it through, etc., I couldn't smell this at all anymore. I had to put more in, you know, especially in my mustache so I could uh, smell it. And even then, after that, it only lasted for about an hour. So very, very short scent duration. I did not care for this beard oil because of that. The next beard oil, guys, in this, you know, light and refreshing citrus category is the Mountain Rain. Now this one has a very similar scent to the Glacier. It is that nice fresh citrus scent, except this one has eucalyptus instead of mint. And I think that eucalyptus gives it an extra boost, you know, an extra kind of vaporousness to it that, you know, just kind of spreads that scent or holds that scent a little better. And this one actually lasted in my beard for a good two to three hours. So for a citrus scent, guys, that's pretty good, because citrus scents typically don't last as long as, you know, other beard oil scents. Uh, they're very fresh, but they're not long-lasting. So two to three hours is pretty good. This one I like. So for the light and refreshing citrus beard oils, you know, definitely like the Mountain Rain the best. The final category, guys, is the floral and fruity. And my favorite of these was the Sea Captain. So the Sea Captain, this is a fruity and musk is kind of the scent to it. So it is a, like a light fruity cologne and it was very pleasant. And this one lasted in my beard for about three to four hours. Um, all of the beard oils guys, they did a great job conditioning, absorbing, and they felt great. Uh, but this one in for the um, floral and fruity category, the Sea Captain, this was my favorite of the three. 
Next one up, guys, is Fermone, and I would say this is my second favorite. This one is a floral and musk, whereas the Sea Captain is a, you know, fruity and musk. So, very nice floral. Um, it has a light scent, you know, and so does the Sea Captain. They're both light scents. Uh, they're refreshing. They're nice, but they have that little musky coloniness to them. So, overall, I like these scents. And then the final one up, guys, is the Yule. Now, the Yule beard oil, this is like a classic fall scent. I know a lot of people like these scents. This is kind of like a cinnamon apple pie with some other fall type spices in it. I don't know, nutmeg, etc. Um, but it is, um, it is a pleasant enough scent. But for me, guys, I don't like uh, food smells in my beard. Um, you know, I do everything I can to try to keep food smells out of my beard. But anyway, um, if you like, you know, an apple pie, cinnamon apple pie with, you know, fall spices and stuff like that, you're probably really going to like this one. This is a nice beard oil. It is a heavy scented beard oil. Um, I would say that this one lasted in my beard probably, you know, I would say probably four to five hours. It is the strongest of the three of the floral and fruity scents. Guys, that is all the scents. So again, my favorites are the On the Rocks, followed by the Silhouette. The third one I would say would be Sea Captain, and then the rest in no particular order. So overall, guys, I really like the beard oils. They performed great, they smelled great, they have a great variety, and I think you guys should check them out. Let's move on to the Beard Balm. Now, for the Silhouette scent, I did not have a matching Beard Balm, but I do have an unscented Beard Balm that, you know, Z and the Relic Beard Company sent to me. And guys, it's always a good idea to have a few unscented bombs on hand just for the sheer fact that typically, for me anyway, I typically run out of my beard bombs before my beard oils. So if you have some unscented around, you can still use your beard oils. Anyway, let's check out the color and the consistency of the beard bombs. So you can see I've used this quite a bit because I have a lot of oils here that I did not have the matching bombs for. But the color of this beard balm is a white to a slightly off-white color. In terms of the consistency, guys, it has a nice, solid feel to it. And I believe that's because, you know, beeswax is the first ingredient in the beard balm, followed by the butters. So this is a full-body balm. It is a nice, you know, thick balm. It, although it's not hard to take it out of the container. This balm has a good amount of tack, which is great for my beard. I love, you know, firm holding balms, but ones that aren't waxy, they're still kind of creamy and smooth, and that would describe this balm perfectly. This balm, out of all of the balms that I've tried recently, um, is one of the better balms for my type of beard. So if you have a long, curly, gray beard, um, that you have a hard time, you know, with the flyaways or hard time styling it and getting it to hold its shape, this balm will be perfect for you. I really, really enjoy this balm. It is one of my favorites in terms of the, you know, the overall consistency and performance. It did a great job styling and my beard also felt soft without feeling waxy or stiff. So, great job on the balm. I think that's definitely the star of the show for the Relic Beard Company. Um, guys, overall, I felt very comfortable or very good about all of the products that were sent to me by the Relic Beard Company. They're high quality, they perform well, and I definitely recommend them to you, and I think you should go and check them out. All right, my bearded friends, I really enjoyed all the products that were sent to me by the Relic Beard Company. The products performed well, they smelled good, and guys, they had a great variety to choose from. What's not to like, right? Well, what's even more to like is the pricing, and I'm going to share that with you right now. So guys, for a half ounce bottle of beard oil, this sells on their website for $7. I believe they also have a one ounce available for $12. For a one ounce tin of Beard Balm. This sells on their website for $12. I don't believe they currently have a 2-ounce 
beard balm, but uh, the one ounce sells for $12. For the two-sided beard comb, with the nice wide teeth, very solid comb, this sells for $8. Also guys, for the boar's bristle brush, nice big boar's bristle brush, this sells also for $8. And guys, currently, they have a sale on their website that if you buy the combo pack that comes with the velvet carrying pouch, this combo pack currently is selling on sale for $14. That's a pretty good deal. The folding comb, guys, that comes in the cool leather pouch, this folding comb, it's a high quality comb, it's super cool, it smells of sandalwood, guys, this sells for $12. So I think that's also a pretty good deal for a folding comb. And finally, guys, the set of stickers, which includes the Viking sticker and the Magician or Wizard sticker. This sells as a set for $3. All of the products at the Relic Beard Company include free shipping which makes their cost even better. And I think you'd agree with me that the cost for these products is well below market average, and I would say you're getting very high quality products. Guys, what I'm gonna do for you right now is I'm gonna share with you a chart that shows you all of the products currently available at the Relic Beard Company and the associated pricing as well. I think you should check it out and see which products you might like to buy I highly recommend them to you. Here it is. So finally guys, before I conclude this video, I always like to provide a few suggestions for the company that was generous enough to send beard products out to me for review. And for the Relic Beard Company, I have five suggestions. The first suggestion guys is add some promotional items. You have an awesome logo, it would look great on you know, hats and t-shirts, and it would also serve the purpose to advertise for your company. Who doesn't like walking billboards? So guys, I think you should definitely add some promotional items. The second item, guys, is on your citrus scents. They were very weak in terms of the scent duration, and if you could find a way to strengthen those, I think that would be fantastic. The third thing, guys, is I think also regarding scents, you could add some woodsy type scents. Right now, I think you're missing a big piece of the market because a lot of guys really like the woodsy type scents, and your lineup currently does not have any woodsy. So I think that would also be good. Um, guys, the one ounce tins of your beard bomb, I think you'd really do great if you would add a two ounce tin to your lineup like many other beard companies do. I know for myself personally, you know, even when I have a one ounce beard oil and a two ounce beard balm, I always run out of my balm before I run out of my oil. And then I'm stuck with an oil that I probably won't use much because I don't have a matching balm. So I think if you could add a two ounce uh, tin of beard balm, that would also be great for you. And finally, guys, round out your product line by adding in some beard wash and co-wash. I know you're a young company, you're new, and that stuff takes time, but I hope it's in the pipeline to get done because everyone likes a one-stop shop. So guys, those are my suggestions for the Relic Beard Company. Overall, guys, I thoroughly enjoyed the products. I believe they were high quality, they were very fairly priced, and they offered a great variety. So like I said before, what's not to like? I highly recommend that you guys go and check them out. And in conclusion, guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell so that you'll know whenever I release new content. And guys, see in the corner of your screen down here, the red box with the white arrow in it, that is the subscribe button. 
And guys, it would really help me out a lot if you'd click on that right now and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, roll yourselves a blazing beard. See ya.